So why did I, I give a, a recording capacity, as it were, of 10,000 milliseconds when I was only using the first 1,000 milliseconds? Well, we can add as many arguments to tap out as we like. Well, I don't know about as many, but cer certainly several um, to give a, a series of uh, delays, all referring to the same delay buffer. So now um, they're all referring to the same uh, buffer, but we have three outputs, each of which is going to represent a delay of, well, 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 milliseconds in turn. So you'll hear all three of the delays on the right channel. Um, or again, if we use the uh, the Cherokee sound. Oops. So that's why you might use a tap-in argument of 10,000, um, because you might want to have several delays uh, of different lengths here. And you can change those delay lengths on the fly by sending uh, numbers or durations to each of those inlets here. So the first one goes to the leftmost inlet, which is also the one which is receiving the connection from tap-in, but it doesn't get confused. Um, and so we could have very short delays between each of those uh, iterations. So we have the beginnings here of a kind of multi-tap delay. Um, I mean, you can see that the, the delay process itself is very simple, um, but you can get some potentially interesting sounds by aggregating delays through this multiple delay output capability. But it's a little hard to control. So let's see whether we can find a, an easier or a better way of controlling the outputs of that. I'm going to use for this something called a multi-slider object, which you might find useful for other things as well. Um, so it is a slider object, and by default I think you only get one slider with it. And if I connect something to its outlet, its left-hand outlet, you'll see that at the moment it's... Um, well, first of all, you'll notice that I don't get outlet until I release the um, slider, um, at which point I get uh, a value coming out. And so at the moment its range is going from minus one to one. Um, but all of that stuff I can change in the inspector window, which I shall do. So I'm going to say, uh, because I want this to uh, control, well, let's say four instances of tap out. So I shall put in three. These these are just holding values. They'll be updated by whatever I send into the inlets later. Um, but this will this will do for now. So I'm going to want four sliders to control each of these four inlets. So if I choose the multi-slider and go to number of sliders, I can say four. Uh, now, nothing will change. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, so you can see now that uh, well, if I lock the patch, kind of wiggle in there, I've got four sliders in there. Um, and notice that the output of that is as a list. Um, so there are four items that came out representing the four sliders here. Uh, now, I don't want it to be um, going between 1 and minus 1. I want it to go between... There we go. Here's our range. I want it to go between 0 and, well, what's the length of our, uh, our delay capability? It's 10,000, so I'll go between 0 and 10,000. Um, so now my multi-slider, which I can make bigger, by the way, allows us the capacity for um, that range of values. So the first slider is 1,865, the next one is 3,955, and so on. Um, and of, I mean, it's as simple now as finding a way of sending those four values to each of these four inlets. And we can do that using an unpack object. And I will convert all of these for now to integers. So if I put in four zeros without points, decimal points as arguments, then we will just get 
integers out, connect up to here, um, and now those are now controlling the uh, inlets to tap out. There we go. Um, so there, I didn't actually hear four, but there were four there. I think they were just a bit close together. Um, now, actually, I don't. I think those are a little bit too distant. So, I mean, this this is not a particularly useful delay length. So, I'm going to reduce the size of my range to I don't know uh, four thousand instead. Why are we not getting? Oh, that's why we're not getting the fourth out uh, sound. It's because I haven't connected it up. There we go. Um, so we have uh, a simple multi-tap output which we can control via this multi-slider. Another thing we might want to do is use another multi-slider to control the levels of each of these delays. So we can do that quite simply uh, by using multiplication objects here. There we go. So they will all go to this outlet and we'll make them stereo this time. Um, so we will do, I'll just copy this one. But this time we will need a floating point capability um, because there all of our values will need to be between 0 and 1 for amplification purposes. There we go. And so our range, as I say, will need to be between 0 and 1. As our delays get longer, we might choose to make them quieter. There we go. And same with uh, our Cher Cherokee sound. So you have uh, the makings of a, a multi-tap delay.